Well, the grass is growing. The flowers are blooming. Gee, it must be time for the All Church, Church picnic. picnic. When is that? May 19th. Where is it? Right here on the church grounds. So get ready for some of that delicious golden barbecue. And lots of fun and games for the whole family. Remember, please bring your favorite two side dishes. And mark your ca calendar for May 19th. See, See you, you there. there. Good morning. As most of you know, in the next two weeks, we are setting off on a new adventure as a congregation. On Sunday, May 26, we will combine our two morning services into one dynamic service that will draw on the richness and breadth of the many styles and cultures that God has gathered at First Presbyterian Church. The new service will start every Sunday at 10.30 a.m. This morning, I want to address two questions about this change in our worship life. The first question is, why are we doing this? The short answer is that we are doing this because this is who we are as a congregation. For more than 135 years, this church has sought effective and compelling ways to share the good news of Jesus Christ with our neighborhood and with the world. This is why this church has supported the Wycliffe Bible translators for the past 40 years, so everyone in the world can hear the good news of Jesus Christ in his or her own native tongue. This is why we generously share lunches during the week and breakfast on Saturday mornings, so our guests can experience God's love in tangible ways. This is why we send a mission group to Mexico every year, so our neighbors can have a safe place to live. This is why we invest so significantly in our children and youth, so a new generation will grow up following Jesus into the world in peace. The session trusts that our new worship service will not only bless all of us, but will give us a real chance to draw more and more people into this fellowship as we seek to be a sustainable and vibrant congregation for the long term. The second question about this change is, what will this new service be like? The service, as we are planning it, will combine the best elements from both of our morning services. It will feature hymns played on the organ, praise songs led by Rua, and African music led by our members from Cameroon and Nigeria. It will maintain some of the structure of the 1050 service and will feature some of the informality of the 830 service. It is our hope that the new service will provide every member with many moments of rich and meaningful worship. In the coming weeks, we will provide opportunities for you to ask questions and give feedback about our new service. I am convinced that God has a great future for this church and it will take all of us and all of our styles to get there. I invite you to join this new effort with hope and anticipation as God continues to give us the faith and strength to continue the historic mission of this church, to share the good news of Jesus Christ with the whole world. I'll see you in church.